Hello my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. And for those of you guys that are brand new, welcome. My name is Jessica and I am the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. There are transits that I know for a fact that you are feeling right now, specifically the fact that Mars is off with Chiron. Mars is currently transiting through the sign of Cancer, making it highly emotional, very, very protective, and very on guard. I said this on my Instagram. Think about how territorial people can be or become when they're talking about their families. Mars transiting through the sign of Cancer activates that very same similar energy. Mars transiting through the sign of Cancer is easily provoked and it doesn't make it any easier or any better when it's squaring off with Chiron. For those of you guys that don't know, Chiron rules our wounded healer aspect. It rules the, the wounded energy within us. And these experiences, that wounded space, that wounded energy comes from our past experiences that are reactions to things that have already happened to us. There are things that it is that we can't control. It's like a knee jerk reaction when someone says something that really hits that nerve. So I want you guys to keep an eye out for that, especially so with Mercury now retrograde in the sign of Taurus. Mercury rules communication, our thoughts, and our ability to process information. So there's a really strong high chance that someone or something says something in a way or some energy is activated here that can really provoke a response from you. And there's, there's also a chance that there's misunderstanding, that the way that this person says something or how you say something is not what they intended it to be. That doesn't make it feel any better though. At the same time, there's a really strong chance that thoughts or beliefs that is that you have ingrained about yourself or the circumstance or the energy, and that could be anything. It could be a relationship, how you feel about your career. It is being activated here in ways that could feel very productive and very supportive, but also very, very triggering. So around these days, April 27th, make sure to watch your cognitions. Make sure to watch how you're processing things, information you're receiving, what messages you're receiving, who's reaching out to you, how they're reaching out to you. What does it trigger within you? And be very intentional and striving for a higher level of healing for yourself when it comes to your action and how you respond to these energies, how you respond to this information. I say this not as a threat, even though there is a chance that you might regret the things that is that you say or regret your initial reaction to it, but almost to guide you even further into raising your vibration, understanding yourself on a deeper level, and making choices and decisions that come from a more higher conscious type space. I hope that makes sense. So there's something here essentially that is going to trigger an emotional response from you that goes deeper than surface level. With that, I want to encourage you to be curious, to observe it, and to seek to understand why this might be provoking this reaction from you. And from there, take a pause, take a beat, take a moment, reflect on where this might be coming from, and then from that space, make a choice, a decision that reflects your actual intention and this higher vibration that it is that you are working hopefully in order to manifest and to stabilize within your life. This requires a lot of strength, emotional and spiritual strength on your part. It is very easy to relapse or collapse back into old ways of handling things that you might have already outgrown. If you find yourself feeling triggered or reactive, don't be shy or feel shameful or resist desire or need to kind of retract back into your cave or into your safe space, whatever that looks like for you. I think that that's something that's very natural and of course it's needed and I encourage it, but try not to stay in that space for too long because there is an opportunity for you to heal, especially after you take that time to gather your thoughts, regain clarity, especially knowing yourself, understanding yourself way better than it is that you have in the past by simply observing your shadow self and how quick you are to respond to something. They say that the wound is the space where the light comes in 
And that is especially so this week or in these moments because you can see that this hurt me, this energy felt this way towards me, and this is going to reflect back to you a certain belief that is that you have within yourself that if you are empowered or striving spiritually for greatness or ascension, you will use this as a tool to not only better understand yourself, but others, the world, and how to heal yourself and others in the world within that moment. It's very, very powerful, but it also can be very, very triggering. Before I sign off, there is one more transit that I really want you to keep on your radar, and that is Pluto turning retrograde May 1st in the sign of Aquarius and retracing his steps back into the sign of Capricorn. This transit is going to be felt in our intimate environments, but also global. And for that reason, I have another video coming up right after this one. So make sure that you're subscribed because there's plenty more videos where that came from. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.